All right, Shalom, it's the brother from the GMS North Carolina came back for another video. Before we go any further, we all praise and our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekar Kodash, the Bible of the Elder Apostles, the Great Millstone, teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Just going to get into a lesson on seeking the Lord, you know, because now is the time for you to seek you know to 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 get this wisdom knowledge and understanding of the scriptures to repent you know to turn back sorrowfully to the guy of the bible you know let's start with this scripture right here because you know we're coming into the time of jacob's trouble a time like no other is it's about to come on the, on the face of the earth and you're gonna need yahweh by shema shai on your side you know you're gonna need the lord on your side this is Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So the wisdom and knowledge of the Holy Scriptures of the Holy Bible is what's going to keep us stable. You know, it's going to keep us uh, uh, clear minded. You know, let's let's get this word stable. It's going to keep us stable when all hell is breaking loose. It's going to keep us stable in the time of famine, in the time of the civil unrest. When the RFID ship is, which is the mark of the beast, is made mandatory, and that no man might buy or sell save he who had the mark, you're gonna be exiled society for believing in the Lord. You know, so now is the time to get this wisdom and to seek the Lord. It says stable. Uh, some of the syn synonyms are firm, solid, steady, strong, safe, immovable. You know, um. Uh, you know, some well balanced, balanced, normal. Um, yeah, you're gonna be normal in that day, steady, sober, <clears throat> all there. You know, why these people are bugging out of their minds, those with the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the scriptures, having faith in Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, we're gonna be all there, we're gonna be clear minded, we're gonna, we're gonna know that this is the will of the Lord. And that these things must come to pass. All we have to do is believe and continue to trust in Him. Isaiah 33 and 6. And you trusting in the Lord, that starts now. You know, that doesn't uh, uh, happen when all hell just breaks loose. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. This is going to be our strength of salvation. This, this, this wisdom. The fear of the Lord is His treasure. So... The fear of the Lord is 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 is, is, a, is his treasure. You know, something that's very valuable. You know, so that's what we're going to get. The fear of the Lord. The the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This is Isaiah chapter fifty-five, verse six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So right now is the time when the Lord is near. Right now is the time. That the Lord has set up his men to teach, teach you this word, to feed you, and give you this understanding. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15. And it reads, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord has given us pastors that's going to feed us. A pastor is a spiritual guy that's going to feed us. With uh, with knowledge and understanding, that's gonna break down the scripture to us, give us the understanding, which is gonna give us hope. You know, scripture say, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the words of the Lord, hearing all of the things that those who trust in the, trust in the Lord, how they are protected, that gives us hope. You know, uh, hearing about how our enemies are gonna go down, and that we're gonna be next in rulership, and we've seen these things before our eyes. You know, that that gives us hope. You know. More so, the things that we have not seen gives us hope, because we are saved by hope, you know? Isaiah 55 and 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. So there's going to come a time when the Lord is not going to be found. You know, the Lord isn't going to be out there on the highways and byways. You had uh, the head of our camp, uh, his page, once again, got suspended for once for a week. You know, that's, these things are the beginning of the famine of the word, you know? The Lord is showing you how quickly these, this internet is not going to be forever. The prophets being out there on the highways and byways is not forever. That's why you got to seek the Lord now. 
Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. So you got to forsake your way of living, you know, to do as thou wilt, you know, to think that America is just going to go on forever. Forsake that way, you know, following after the ways of the heathens because that's the ways of death, you know. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And when you look up that word, you know, it means to return. It means to repent. Let him repent unto the Lord, you know, because we have all went astray. Now it's time for us to repent. Like it tells you in Acts, it can command all men everywhere to, to, to repent. You know, all Israelite men at that. It says, and he will abide. Have mercy upon him into our power, for he will abundantly pardon. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for our sins to be pardoned, because the day of reckoning is coming. The Lord is coming to bring judgment upon the planet Earth. You know, and those who tarry, those who didn't seek him, are going to be destroyed. But those who sought him, you know, and, and, and gave diligence to make their calling and election sure and, and didn't tarry to seek the Lord, they're going to be protected in that day. So Isaiah chapter 5 verse 7, how do we know that the Lord spoke of men getting the victory? Scripts talk about how they loved their lives not on, not on to the deaf, you know? They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives unto the deaf. You know, so this man who's going to get the victory over this beast, over this system, you know, and they're going to continue to trust in the Lord. Just how countless men have trusted in the Lord and they've gotten the victory. You know, look at Daniel and the lion's kid. Look at Shemrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. These men trusted in the Lord. You know, they sought the Lord with their whole heart and the Lord protected them. This is Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. And you see that this is about to happen. You know the day the Lord is going to catch. The majority of there are people off guard. Is going to catch them as a thief in the night. Because Jake is still sleeping you know. Jake is still asleep. They still think. That America is their rest. You know, when you listen to their conversation and you see how they conduct themselves here in America, you know, the, what they do and how they uh, say, you know, they, they think America is going to go on forever. But the Lord, you know, He's going to destroy America. Yahweh Shema Shai is not with this place. This is Psalm 62 and 12. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. For thou renderest to every man according to his work. I'm going to read that again. It says, Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. For thou renderest to every man according to his works. So you reap what you sow down here on this earth. You know? The energy that you put out. The time wasted that you could have been using to seek the Lord. You know? Well, that work is going to be judged. You know? But those who sought him, the Lord says he's going to abundantly pardon. You see? That's why it's time to seek the Lord. It's time to seek Yahweh Shema Shai. There's no time to wait. There is no more time for waiting to seek the Lord. You see brothers and see brothers waking up across the four corners of the earth. You know, it's time to lock in. You know, we got to get this word now. And like the head of our camp always say you don't have as much time as the next guy, you know? You don't have as much time as he did. So it's, it's time to get it. This is Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. And who are the meek? The meek is the elect. The meek is the humble. Those who have been blessed to receive this word, you know? Because the scriptures talk about how the Most High resisted the proud. The proud, they think they can do things all on their own. They don't think they need the Lord. They think gathering guns... Or because they have a lot of money. Or because they have a large following. You know, evils aren't going to overtake them. And if they do, if evils do come, that they're going to be fine during those times. But only those with the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures are going to be A-OK. -okay. It says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. See, we're seeking the Lord's mercy right now. We have faced... The wrath of Yahweh by Shema We fell under the curses 
You know, we know what what it's like, what happens when the, we understand now what happens when we disobey the Lord and we have to go uh, under captivity, under a wicked ruler. You know, we fall under these curses. We we dealt with that. Now we want to reap the benefits of seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, which is going to lead to an everlasting kingdom with Lord Yahweh Shai, you know. It says, "Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgments. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, and maybe ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger." So that's the point, you know. If you want to be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, this the fierce anger of the Lord that's coming upon the earth, you gotta seek the Lord now. Don't wait, you know. Tells you in Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. When when all hell is breaking loose, look, that's not the time to seek the Lord. You know, which I'll say, people are going to be waking up, you know, but why wait? You know, why be, why not be in the know now? You know, why not build up that relationship with Yahweh by Shemel Shine now? This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, which those things are coming. You know, scriptures speak about those, a famine of bread and water, but this scripture is not talking about that. It says, But of hearing the words of the Lord, a famine is a shortage of something. So, a shortage of hearing the words, you know? Meaning what? No more internet. No more, you know, watching. No more uh, watching videos on the YouTube. No more going out on the highways and byways and receiving this doctrine. You know, in its purest form. You're supposed to do it now. It says, and it reads, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even in, unto the east. This is those who tarried. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. And shall not find it. You see, they waited to seek the Lord, and now that all hell is broke, broken loose, now they want to seek their power. Now they want to seek the Lord. This is Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. And that's what the Lord is waiting for you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, including myself, for us to acknowledge our offense. We have to acknowledge our offense daily. We offend. You know, every day, so we have to confess our sins to Yahweh by Shema Shai and ask for forgiveness. I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense. I mean, what the, you have to be born again and seek my face, which is these scriptures. In their affliction, they shall seek me early. Those who waited when all hell is breaking loose in your affliction, then you're going to want to seek the Lord. But it's going to be too late, you know. So now's the time for you to seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. Seek your power, you know, of repent, you know, turn back sorrowfully for, to the God of the Bible. Stop eating your pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, you know, stop serving uh, uh, all these uh, abominable gods, you know, these false idols, and serve ye the Lord. We give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles, the great millstone of teaching us to 100% truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings so afflict of the nation. Rizzo, next time we say, shall want.